Hi folks, I wanted to show you how Vocabulary Builder works in Unity 2.0. I here have on the screen Unity 60 sequenced, so please know Vocabulary Builder is a tool that we use with Unity sequenced vocabularies. Okay, um, It is a tool that temporarily limits the number or the amount of vocabulary appearing on the screen at any one time. So in Unity 60 sequenced, we have thousands of words. I can easily limit that to maybe eight starter words. Okay, so the idea is that we can um, temporarily limit what's appearing on the screen. That way the individual can learn where the word is, uh, but they won't have to relearn how to say the word when they want to add more vocabulary. So it's kind of like the English language is already mapped out for you. We're just... Um, masking some of it to make um, either starting e starting out easier or maybe to introduce someone to uh, a new set of words. Okay, so let's take a look at how it works. So we're going to select the gray wheel here and then vocabulary builder there. This screen may look different depending upon the number of keys you have. So in 28 or 36 or 45, there are going to be less options on the screen here. Um, but it will all work very similarly. So uh, we have three ways to do this. One are the pre-made activity sets. Uh, the other way is to spell to make a set and then masking on the fly. So let's first talk about the pre-made activity sets. So here uh, is just a little information about what we're talking about today. We can close that up. And then they're broken down into four categories. We have at play, at home, and at school, as well as build your own. So let's go to the at play tab. And if I select bubbles, what's going to happen is vocabulary builder is going to reveal a set of words that you can uh, use, model, teach, say while playing uh, bubbles. So uh, we have the word bubbles. Bubbles. And the first thing we have to typically do with those bubbles is open them. So we have the word open. Open. Then we might want to blow that bubble. Blow. Or pop. Pop. Or catch. Catch. Uh, we might make a comment like awesome. Awesome. And then when we're finished, we can say all done. All done. So that's a pre-made set of words. Uh, typically in all of these uh, activity sets, there are words to start the activity to talk during the activity, as well as to stop the activity. So if we look at at home, we have a variety of things like listening to music, taking care of a pet, uh, watching TV. We can um, combine sets together. So right now I have a bubbles set loaded. If I wanna add to it uh, Mr. Potato Head, what I'm gonna do is select this merge activity set key and then select Mr. Potato Head. So now I have my bubbles words. Bubbles. But I also have uh, Mr. Potato Head. Mrs. Potato Head. And Mrs. Potato Head. And there's Mr. Mr. Potato Head. So let's head back to Vocabulary Builder. I'm going to show you that. Let's go to At Home and let's merge in listening to music. So I'm going to first select the merge activity set and then merge in listening to music. And now I have uh, music words added to my set. So yellow, if you uh, select a yellow key, it will only load uh, that set related to that activity. If you select a white merge key, it will add that set of words to an existing set. So right now I have a set with bubbles, Mr. Potato Head, and listening to music. If you want to save that particular set, you might use it in the future. You're going to select Save My Set, and we're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call this one Practice, and say OK. And now I have saved my set. I'm going to say OK again, and uh, show all words. So if I want to load that set that I've saved, I'm going to go back to Vocabulary Builder, go back to Build Your Own, and say Load My Set and you'll see the practice set is right here at the front. And I'll say OK, and OK again, 
And now I've got my bubbles words, my Mr. Potato Head words, as well as my music words. The other way you can build your own set is not by starting with an activity, but we can start with 50 early first words. So now, because I hit the yellow key, uh, it's going to be those 50 first words. If I want to add in more vocabulary, I'm going to come back to Vocabulary Builder, go back to Build Your Own, and this time I'm going to merge in some categories, and the category that I want to merge in are my foods. So now I have my 50 first words as well as my foods. Let's merge in some drinks as well. Back to Build Your Own, Merge, Category, and uh, Drinks. And then I can also uh, save this set if I want to. Go to Build Your Own and save my set. And we're going to call it Practice 2. And OK out. So that's how you can use these pre-made sets. You can use them in isolation or you can combine them using the merge uh, key. Now, the other way we can use Vocabulary Builder is the spelling method. So I'm going to spell to make a set. So on the left here, I have my uh, current set showing the practice two. But I'm going to start from scratch because I'm going to mask it. So I'm going to mask everything, mask all. So now all of my words are masked and I'm going to spell to make my set. Typically, people use this method if they um, are not sure as to where words are located in Unity. So I'm just going to make a small set of four words. Eat, drink, go, stop, and say OK. At this point, it moves the words from the right to the left on the left-hand side. This is a list of the words that are revealed, or, and this is on the right are the list of the words that are masked. If I want to add more words, I'm just going to come back here and I'll type the word you and um, I and turn and we'll say OK. And I'll add those words. So uh, sometimes you'll see a word is um, located in the software a couple different places. So you'll see it repeated in the vocabulary builder list. If this is the case, you can clean up your list. So maybe you want to teach the word you as just two times on the that you hand. So I'm going to uh, mask this one. So I'm just going to highlight it by selecting it and then, whoops, and then select mask. And then that's how you can clean up your list if you need to. And then I'm going to say, OK. And now I have my list of, I think it was six or seven, eight words uh, via the spelling method. Okay. Last thing I want to show everyone is how to use masking on the fly. So I'm going to select this masking on the fly key. Uh, typically, individuals use masking on the fly if they know where a word is located in Unity. So once again, you can see that I have my um, that that spelling method list I just created. So I'm going to mask everything and start from scratch again. But this time, rather than spelling out the words, I'm going to touch the icons to say them. So I'm going to do eat, and I'm going to do drink, and I'll do go and stop. And then uh, to get out of here, once you're done, you're going to select this text area. So now I have my four words, eat, drink, you. Go and stop. If I want to add more vocabulary, I can come back to Vocabulary Builder and Masking on the Fly. And this time, um, I'm going to show you how to reveal um, words that are in subcategories. We need to use this Navigate key. So the example I'm going to use is um, maybe I want some fruits. The student that I'm working with really enjoys um, bananas and apples. So those are, the, that's, those are the words that I want. So first, I'm going to touch the apple. And then I'm going to touch the subcategory fruit and um, it brightens, right? 
but I can't get in here. If I touch it again, it's going to go gray. But we want to get inside here. And to get in this subcategory, you select your navigate key and then you can navigate inside. And this is where we can select a variety of different uh, fruits that the individual may like. And then we can hit the text area to exit. Right. So now we've added those words in uh, subcategories. Banana. Let me just show you that one more time um, using that navigate function. Go back to vocabulary builder, go back to masking on the fly. And this time I'm going to reveal some snacks. So I'm going to illuminate that, hit my navigate key to get inside, go in snacks, and then um, I'll do some chips and crackers and goldfish, and then here to exit. So that is the third way that you can make um, or use Vocabulary Builder. So in summary, you can make, use the pre-made activity sets. If you select one of the activities when the key is yellow, it will load in that set of words only. If you wanna combine a couple sets, always hit this merge key first and then the merge um, list, right? Uh, we can also spell to make a set, or we can use masking on the fly. And then any set that you've created that you want to save, you're always going to come to build your own and say, save my set. If you want to load a set, then you're going to go to load my set. And you'll see that all of the lists that you have made, like today we made practice and practice two, uh, they'll be here in the top left hand corner so you can load any one of those um, at any time. And OK out. All right, so that is a quick um, tutorial on Vocabulary Builder in Unity 2.0.